Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, instead of thoughtful, flexible investments to boost the supply of high quality, affordable child care, this bill before us includes about $500 million to the Department of Health and Human Services in new administrative dollars to run five new child care grant programs. And while, you know, 500 million or a billion may not seem like a, a lot of money to my friends on the other side of the aisle, especially since we're marking up 3.5 trillion dollars worth of spending here, I think we can do better work with these dollars. Instead of, um, instead of putting this money into the hands of bureaucrats, let's put it into small business owners. According to the Department of Labor, half of child care businesses are minority owned. 93% of child care workers are, are women and 45% are minorities. Recognizing the reality of who provides the care in this country, my amendment would redirect the administrative money from HHS and, and the bureaucrats there to support growth and development of women and minority owned child care businesses. My amendment also includes no mandates and no new nanny state policies that restrict choices for American families. I think about Miss Nellie Barber's daycare in, in my hometown of West Point, Georgia, um, minority owned business. My son attended there and received an absolutely stunning um, early childhood education. And I think of all of the work that Miss Nellie and her family and her workers did to provide child care for so many children with not many resources. And I think that money going to someone like Miss Nellie Barber to, run, to, to, to grow her business would be an, a much better use of these funds than, as opposed to giving it to a bunch of bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. So with that, I would urge support of my amendment. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.